smile. It's like 1.09 p.m. in the afternoon, December 14th, 2021. You can see me smiling right now. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it back so you can see, yes, Reggie Wallace, yes. Now I'm going to do this. On, following up on what I did yesterday, I'm going to sit down. I am going to rightfully, on the basis of the rejection of gay rape programming mind control culture of Philadelphia, I'm going to put to death and crucify in effigy and in the most literal and in all ways possible, crux to lux, crucifixus beatificus, the, the person that y'all claim I am, that I'm not. See this? Look, it's like as if I was born that way, okay? See that guy's gay. The gay me, the gay me, the one that doesn't exist, okay? See, it's a plastic person, but that's what y'all claim I am. You want to tell me I'm gay, right? The homosexual Reggie, okay? So I'm going to burn him at the stake, okay? See, like I'm a baby, I was born this way, okay? Right, sure you right. Okay, and see what, bye guy, bye guy, bye guy, okay? Bye gay Reggie, okay? Why? Because it's not real, okay? That's what y'all claim. No, I'm not gay, okay? And look, wrong son, look son, leave. Don't come back, okay? That's how I feel about your claims that I'm gay, okay? Wrong son, look son, leave. Don't come back, okay? Because I'm not gay, okay? Look, there's, and I'm going to actually crucify the same person afresh as the scripture. This is an apost This is right way apostasy. This is right headed in the right direction to infinity. Crucifixus emulators. Um, twice did, and then it says crucified afresh. Okay, so I'm gonna literally put the phone down for a second. And I'm also gonna give you here, I'm gonna burn up a little sweet fragrance of the little sweet boy, okay, because that's not me, okay. So you're gonna let you know who this is, okay. It's to infinity. See, this is for it's a feminine scent, you know, if I thought was gay, I'm gonna let you know it's all getting burnt up. Put right in it, get burnt up. Okay? Thank you. Give me a minute. And it'll be basically death mill because I'm a con, right? See, because Reggie's not that kind of person, so you're gonna learn the hard way, world. Um, don't ever lie about me, okay? Don't try to program me, okay? I'm not a I'm fucking computer. I'm not a microchip, okay? Um, God is the potter. I'm the clay. And if that's you got a problem with that, um, you can talk to him, okay? Thank you. Well, give me a second. I'm going to right ahead. I'm going to flip this up and face me. Okay, I can look up at the sky. I'm going to strap this down. Okay, flip it back here. Okay, and I'm gonna go on the authority of this book. I'm just gonna give you a nice little reading. Here we go. Let's do something right here. Let's do something right here. Day of living, rising sun, day of rise, plenty, gracious sun, day of perfect grand delight, day of fortune, brilliant night, O shining day, O laughing day, O day of life and love and luck. Seven oldest, wisest ones, seven sacred learned ones, be my guardians, power swords, be my watchful, patient lords. Protect me from the rabbit shoe, a shining splendor is of color. What God have I offended? What goddess? What sacrifice have I failed to make? What unknown evil have I committed that my going out shall be thus accompanied by the fearful howlings of a whole hundred wolves? May the heart of my God return to its place. May the heart of my goddess return to its place. May the God I do not know be quieted towards me. May the goddess I do not know be quieted towards me. May the heart of the unknown God return to its place to me. May the heart of the unknown goddess return to its place to me. Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit more. And what crime have I committed? What unknown God have I transgressed? What forbidden thing have I eaten? What forbidden thing have I drunk? My suffering, it is seven. It is seven times seven. Oh God, do not cast thy servant down. Okay, so I'm going to take this right over here. Okay, I'm going to put these down. I got this and this. Okay. As you could say, I'm... Um, since we're binding the sacrifice to the cords of the altar, so it's going to go right in the pit. Okay, because this is the pit. Did you like to tell lies about Reggie? Okay, everybody wants to tell lies about Reggie, right? So I'm going to put the leaves on and let this, um, we don't need no water, okay? Um, the ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire, okay? We don't need the motherfucker, let that motherfucker burn. We don't need no water, okay? The ruse, that's the ruse. The cunningly devised fable that your Americans try to turn me into. The ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire, okay? We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn, okay? Because Reggie ain't gay. So you're going to learn the hard way, stop calling Reggie gay, okay? And if you want to insist on trying to put me into that mold, I curse you to burn as well. And fuck you, okay? If it means the whole universe, fuck you. I'm going to put up with that shit. I know who I am. You don't tell me who the fuck I am. I'm, I am whoever I say I am. In fact, I wasn't. I'm what I say I am. Well, y'all going to learn the hard way. Stop calling me fucking gay. Stop trying to program me to be on my fuck zone. Such you, okay? Okay? You'll learn. You'll all learn the hard way. Stop trying to slander me, okay? Don't ever lie on me. Don't ever fucking lie on me, okay? Thank you very much. Stop lying on me. Stop lying on me.
Okay, stop lying. Stop fucking lying. There you go. Look, I'm spraying all the sweet. See the sweet boy? That's what y'all tried to make me into? Yeah, yeah, like like I suck dick. I've heard people at work, Jack Frederick, talking to me about how I suck dick. The Dory manager uh, at Academy at Red Line tried, kept trying to call me gay. I ain't never said nothing to y'all to make me think I was gay, okay? So this is for all you fat, you homos too, okay? Okay? All the jokes I've had to deal with, getting attacked, okay? The programming, the rapes, dealing with in Philly, okay? In this country. How y'all can't handle a man because y'all ain't a man or you would shut the fuck up and just let me be a man, okay? Y'all can't handle it, okay? Okay, maybe this is because that's you all. Maybe that's you all. Maybe that's the problem, okay? Maybe that's the problem, okay? Maybe that's why it's an issue. Maybe because it's you. Maybe because it's you all, okay? So I'm going to keep spraying the little sweet boy scent over here, okay? Okay, and this going to be the end of this, okay? And this can be as well. And if warm here, you know I'd say that an everlasting is seen a soul for a soul, okay? It demands a sacrifice and exacts a terrible price, okay? So now I'm just going to let it dirty, screw it all out. Okay, and this is going to be the end of you identifying me with feminine sense. I'm masculine, not feminine, okay? Okay, so you want to need to learn as well. Reggie's not gay, okay? Learn the truth that Reggie's not gay, okay? Learn that Reggie's not gay, okay? See, there's your idea. To, your ideas of the gay Reggie are right there, going up in flames. There goes your ideas of, and your beliefs about Reggie not being heterosexual. Oh, and up in flames. You see that? Look, we're all, we're all flesh stuff. You see that? That's all your beliefs. There you go. Boom. There's the, there's the so-called gay Reggie right there. Up in flames, okay? Take note of it and stop calling me gay. Stop confusing me with homosexuals. Don't ever try to press me into the gay mold, okay? I am whoever I say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am, okay? As Maya Angelou said, when someone tells you who they are, believe him. Y'all need to learn, okay? Y'all need to learn. When someone tells you who they are, believe him, okay? I'm going to get a stick and stir up. I'm going to stir a pot. I'm going to stir a pot, stir the pot, okay? So watch. Okay, you see that? Stir in the pot. Stir in the pot. Okay, you see that? All the smoke and flames. So there goes your beliefs about Reggie going right up in smoke, okay? Right up in fucking smoke, okay? Right up in smoke, okay? See that? Burning up in smoke. See that? Up in smoke. Up in smoke. The lie, okay? Sure, it's a song across the sky. The lie is over, okay? So hopefully y'all learn from this to stop slandering me and talking shit about me, okay? Y'all can start, learn to stop talking to me and treat me like a man, okay? I'm a man, okay? I'm a man. I'm not a girl. I'm not feminine. I'm not, I didn't get put on this earth to suck dick, so I'll come and get dicks up my ass and penetrate me, okay? I'm a human being. I'm a male, okay? If you can't handle that, just keep it the fuck moving. You're dead to me, okay? Y'all seem to need to hear that on a worldwide basis about black men in general. We're not here to be the little fuckboys. We're, we're, we're not here to be a little fuckboys. Y'all need to figure it out, okay? If you males of other cultures can't respect this who we are, y'all can go to hell, okay? And I'll make sure you do get there. You'd be in pain and oblivion for being a hypocrite. If you other cultures can't respect black males and you treat us equal as yourself, you'll burn in hell, okay? If the planet has a problem with that, it'll be the planet in the abyss, just like Enoch saw. So you, Earth, planet Earth, you need to figure it out yourself. It's up to you, okay? You choose to accept the lesser and the worst fate, the darkest of all, that's on your earth. But God's not putting up with this shit. God never gave y'all leave to treat us blacks any different. Okay? He never gave it a leave to try to program us and devalue us as if we're just here to be just used like toys and computers. We're not merchandise, okay? We're God's property. God's the one that has to find us say he decides why. Okay? When, I, when I'm straight, I'm straight. Y'all can't deal with it? Just keep it the fuck moving. Don't be trying to change me. I'm not here to be changed. I'm not here to be into your mood. I'm here. Okay? Deal with it. So you can see the fake. Right? <clears throat> Once again, I can speak the truth. And you can look at the, the, the fake-ass comments going up in flames. Okay, the ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. The ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. The ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. The ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire. <clears throat> we don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. Okay, the ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. The ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire. Don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. Okay? And it goes up and swings all your bullshit about being a superior to us. Fuck out of here. The ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire. What's that? The cunningly devised fable that y'all tried to turn me into in this country that I was a gay boy. It's if I was born gay. 
and I'm supposed to be homosexual. Try to press me into your mold, okay? Don't even try it. There it is, up in smoke. It's a curse. When you try to revive it, I curse you to burn. It will be your fate. It will be your destiny. It is inevitable. It will be your God here, okay? It will be your almighty Thanos, okay? It will be your karma, and it will be your inevitable. It will be what you reap and what you sow, okay? So you need to leave the idea that Reggie is gay or ever will be alone. It is a ruse, okay? As I said, when it comes to me having sex with the same, I am not and I am not. I am not and I am not. I am not and I am not. Crux, logos, crucifixus, locutus. Crux, retos, crucifixus, locutus, okay? That's right. See that? Let's keep it going. The ruse. The ruse. The ruse is on fire. We don't need no water, but the motherfucker bird. The ruse. The ruse. The ruse is on fire. We don't need no water, but the motherfucker bird. Okay. So there you are. There you go. And here we go. See that? Look at that. That's right. The ruse is on fire. What's the ruse? The cunningly devised table. <coughs> what you call the gospel okay like it's just a made up story that um that um because it is to, to put me out there as gay it's a made up story the thing is when you have a government working hand and foot as a machine undercover giving the citizens like me the long knife the long knife being a, a rape gay white rape gay white gay rape dick in my back and blood public well, daylight that's what y'all call it the night of the long knives is life for black males in black America and it's every different kind of rapist White, rape, creepy, perv, dick in your back and ass that they can do, okay? Well, you got to be on guard 24-7, okay? Then they'll call you paranoid, okay? See, the ruse, the cunningly devised fable. I'm just going to chill, just watch it burn, okay? I'm just going to do some walks around. I'm keep my headphones back on because the fumes are a bit much. So I'm just going to step back. You can watch it burn. There goes your ideas about Reggie being gay up in smoke. Look, world. Look, universe. Let this be, by God's grace, as a leader, a loving paradigm in the spirit battle angel, as much as I am in this planet in the flesh now, planet Earth, let this be the end of the ruse, to entertaining the ruse that Reggie's gay. Yesterday, today, and forever. Let this be the end of it, okay? May all the gods be a witness, the angels and demons, heaven and hell, the whiteness of lightness and blackness of darkness, God and the devil, white man, world, take note, for the city of Philadelphia, city of Philadelphia, government, take note, U.S. government, take note, okay? Take note, okay? Let your women, lovely ladies, Scarlett Johansson, take note. Beyonce, all you lovely ladies, whoever, whatever, my Facebook, Instagram crowd, take note. There goes the ruse that I am gay, okay? There goes the ruse, okay? I didn't create it, but scripture, as we say, you may not be responsible for your situation, but you are responsible for your healing. So I'm taking responsibility, so I'm fixing that right now, okay? And this is, an, and this is, you know, it's a curse. Basically, this is a Ragnarok. If you want to entertain this, then it means it's a hex. You're, just, you're going to burn. You're, you're getting a rack there. If you presume to pre try to revive this, you'll burn. It's basic. It's a hex. It's a hex. It's crux burn for crux burn. I'm making a statement. It's basically a vormir. It is an everlasting exchange. It demands a sacrifice, and it exacts a terrible price. Going forward, if you presume to try to revive this, this is what you get. You'll basically just be, you'll, you're basically sentencing yourself. It's crucifixes and elitists. You're, sending, you're throwing yourself in the hellfire, and you're going to burn. So you can take your choice, okay? It's on you. So as Joshua said, I set before you life and death. Choose life that you may live. As Moses said, and as the apostles, and every concerned person says, I set before you life and death. Therefore, choose life that you may live. So if you want to be blessed, blessing and cursing, then doing this isn't cool. But I will say that forever and ever, this is for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, whether blessed or cursed, in sickness and in health, this is how it is. This is what it was. That's the ruse. And that, and I'm marrying this to God and his entire Christian. For everyone who tries to undo it, you're, getting, you're married. And what God has therefore joined together, let not man put asunder. You cannot divorce from this, okay? You will be stuck this forever, okay? You will be stuck to this forever. You will not be able to get away from this. This is on you, okay? There will be no escaping this, okay? It's inevitable, okay? You won't be able to get around it, okay? So I'm, I'm doing this deliberately because I've had to face this all my life that I didn't invite this other person. So I'm putting that person to death, okay? Like uh, crucifying the flesh with the affections of us, putting to death with it, which is in me. Because it's not in me, I have to burn it up because it's not in me to begin. 
So there you go. There's, so I'm going to give back to you. That's the vomit up of the, that's the dog vomit in a pig slop of the homosexuality y'all included and tried to cram me into. I'm shoving it right back up your ass and up in your face. And y'all can deal with the stench. Okay, forever. You see that? The dog returned to its vomit. So the food returned to a flower. So fill here. Y'all can drop right in the flames. Okay? Okay? That's right. That's right. As the pig, pig, pig turns to the slop. That's y'all. There's a the pig slop right there. Believe in a lie, a big lie. Then you shape them all, then you'll just make it so because y'all control the media, y'all control the government, y'all control the finance. You basically are God here. So, since y'all want to be that, then at this point, even that's still, that's still on you. It doesn't change the fact that that's what you will be, okay? So, it's going to be what you try to say. I was born gay. I know you are, but what am I? 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 Okay? Thank you. So I'm just going to keep walking. I'm doing my little whirling dervish. I'm just going to rotate, circle around the fire, okay? Mm -hmm. That's right. The ruse. The ruse. The ruse is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. The ruse. The ruse. The ruse is on fire. We don't need no mother mortar. Let the motherfucker burn. You hear that? The ruse that Reggie's gay is on fire. We don't need no water. Let the motherfucker burn. The ruse. The ruse. Not the roof, but the ruse. The cunningly devised fable, okay, is on fire. They try to cover up the fact that you're a gay, rape, creepy, ekponu, Sodom and Gomorrah culture, and you're not the nice, sweet, um, respectful LGBTQ America you claim to be, okay? But then you would always throw shade on those, and always taught with us Christians, the people that do forced gay to straight conversions. I ain't got shit to do with that. But I know I've been victimized or tried to force me straight again, even to Lloyd and Reg, okay? Constantly, constantly. Okay, and, and living in a neighborhood, it was like I was either going to be fighting and punching people and a violent criminal, I was going to walk away. I chose to walk away. I would have had to be beating and punching and kicking people constantly in Philly because that's what you Philadelphian whites and people in general generate that karma for blacks and males. So then we're thugs, we're criminals. So all our music and industry is almost <laughs> thuggery and criminality because y'all make us fighting, scratch and claw. For everything y'all refuse to tolerate because you're dumping on us all the time and it will be never forgiveness. Y'all have reap y'all have um sowed the wind, you will reap the whirlwind, as the scripture says, and it will never be forgiven. We should not have to be so negative, half stalled, and evil and thuggish and criminal minded just to live because we have to face this kind of crap. Okay? So I will not condemn any of my black brethren, not gang straps, none of them for what we've had to go through because y'all are the real criminals. You should not have to worry about law enforcement running around breaking the law. Okay, y'all basically do that all the time. It's still not held in check. The government, government ordained genocides and murders. Okay, all the brutality. What do you expect the citizens to do? It's not cool, but um, stop being a hypocrite. Fix your shit. Okay, if you rulers did what you claim to be, you don't have hardly any problems with us. Okay, but you all want to find a bun, then you're whining and moaning about criminals. And you're full of crime. You're hypocrites. Okay, nobody wants to hear it. Okay, all you're doing is losing the veracity because you're too busy taking any kind of veracity that you don't even deserve to fulfill your voracious appetite to share the innocent blood and tears of your own citizens. And that's really pathetic. Just like Keller said, y'all, America, you'll say this. Uh, this is what America says. Like Keller said, we, drown, we drowned entire civilizations in blood and tears. Where do you think all this gold came from? Like at Fort Knox, mostly, basically our own citizens. Strong black Wall Streets just ruining our own people. That's the U.S. government. You need to face up to you all. Y'all drowned entire civilizations in blood and tears. Entire meaning your own. Where do you think all this gold came from, right? You all drowned entire civilizations in blood and tears, America. And you still are doing it. Just like Donald Trump. That's you all love them. That's your boy. Okay, your demon boy, Trump the Nazi. Why? You're most of your own. Like a cannibal. Just worship implosion. Worship implosion. Worship implosion. We just worship cannibalism implosion, okay? Absolute backstabbing, treacherous ish, like you wouldn't believe. And the dead will rise and smell the incense, okay? As the, as the book Necronomicon says, and the dead will rise and smell the incense. Even the smoke of the torment of all those who take part in that straight to gay rape programming mind control rising up forever. The smoke of your torment. And the dead will rise and smell the incense. The smoke of the torment of everyone who took part in this. This ruse is rising up forever and ever, and the dead will rise and smell the incense. Even the smoke of the torment of all those who promoted and tolerated this ruse rising up forever and ever. That's right. 
and the dead will rise and smell the incense, even the smoke of the torment of all of those who promoted and created this ruse that I was gay, rising up for Atlanta. Okay, as well as white males in the U.S. government and people in the city of Philadelphia like Ida Chen, okay, and many others who are actually still on the bench, who basically are still basically, those are your, those are your peeps. Those are your peeps. Those are your peeps. America, those are your peeps. Rizzo, that was your peep. You give him a, uh, give him a statue. Yeah, like he's a righteous idol. And you know he can kill. I know what I think. I'll put Rizzo sap with all that free pussy y'all got from raping all the beautiful white girls all over the city and black girls. That's why y'all gave, gave him the statue. Y'all miss all that free pussy y'all got. I know, that's wild. Then we could kill him. We got away with everything under Rizzo. Damn, we missed that motherfucker. Let's give him a statue, right? That's the only reason why I was up there. All that free pussy from God we got from killing all them girls, all that, all of that lioness pussy we hyenas got that we should have never got. Damn, we missed that motherfucker. That's why y'all gave him the statue. Everybody knows that. Yeah, just like the perfect white girls that um that come up to temple that the cops would scope out and dump in the sewer. Why? Blood and diamond. They're diamonds and they're broads. So guess what? It's as if they're not even there. Diamond broads, slick ass move at the intersection. You know, that's what we met her. So we just threw her in the sewer after we killed her. Yep, the cops, the cops in Philly, even the cops, even the doggone cops, the cops were like the biggest, they were like the most brutal, the Philadelphia Police Department was then, and I'm sure, since y'all haven't come from it, probably still now, the most brutal, dominant, cruel, heartless police organization, criminal organization in the universe, most brutal, bloody criminal organization in the universe, okay, they took a lot part in this shit, did I ever get an apology, hell no, I wasn't expecting one, okay, wasn't the point, I wasn't here to try to please you in the first place, but there it is, the ruse, the ruse, the ruse is on fire. We don't need no water, let the motherfucker burn. That's right. The ruse that Reggie was, as and ever was, will be gay. Okay? There you go. There you go. There goes all, there goes, there goes ups and flames. The lie. Mm -hmm. Sure as the sun will cross the sky, the lie is over. That's right. All right, bye guy, the fake ass. Guy was my so-called nickname growing up, whatever. You know, there it is. So there you go. Gay guy, right? Gay guy, whatever, whatever. Like my so-called Uncle Tony that raped me when I was three and fr up at uh, Alcas Park, cracked my skull, split it nearly half open and threw me in the center, in the sewer on Old York Road. Nothing was done. Every day, this stuff every day. No, no, a country with a government with no morals, no, we have no, in, we don't have anything inside it seems from day one as a government to practice what we preach. It's as if there's nothing inside. There's nothing in there. We're empty. We need to develop character. It's like, who's inside our bodies? Or we just pass through, switch any evil demon to pass through to get the rocks off of violation. The governing rulers need to figure out what the fuck y'all want to be because y'all just all talk. So far, your history as a country has been all moth right? Y'all just all talk. Y'all don't live it, okay? And this statement here is a proof. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all just, the biggest, full, biggest bullshitters on world history, okay? I shouldn't have to do this at 55. Because I can finally come out of mind control and go through all this trouble to speak up and complain about the city that calls itself the city of brotherly love. And then, is that brotherly love promoting this ruse on me? Okay. If you knew how many things I had to do in the fight to keep from getting get involved in that, and the insults, and the way it affects women, and the cock blocking. And I got to talk about the Meridian Tower. The Meridian Tower fire occurred in summer of 1991. The Meridian Tower literally used to be. Say, if this is City Hall, it was like right over here. There's a new building there, okay? Um, I, ref I remember when it was dedicated, almost every fireman that got killed presided over and watched and helped. When they checked the building, they said, it's a piece of junk, and they laughed, okay? They got fire. They got settlements, but I remember what happened. They helped and presided over all the white girls that wouldn't openly condemn dating black guys for getting thrown off the building. It was as if they didn't have parents. This is the kind of tyranny you do to your own white children. That they don't even have the freedom. But you claim you're pro-white. You're worshiping demons from the abyss, not white people. That's the problem. It's not about the white person. It's about the white demon. Okay, like Colin Joost, you know, former Ezekiel. Okay, the apostate from Gemini who teaches you to kill your eternal soulmates. So this white American government gets your rocks off on that. Okay, don't you go out. After we kill them, go out and screw a couple of whores. Let's kill our eternal soulmate. And then go out and screw a couple of whores, okay? It's a great aphrodisiac. That's what y'all do in white America. How do you think that about that, women? If you raise eternal soulmate of the white male ruler, he'll kill you and he'll serve as an aphrodisiac so you can go out and screw a couple of whores. That's America. So let's just kill his, too. It really makes my dick hard watching people suffer, okay? 
Yeah, bro, what a great effort this year. Killing my own pre Like I said, throw the women off the building. And the white dudes were standing there, all, the, all not just white, but every every fireman that died in that fire stood there as I watched. And I ran away saying, it's a piece of junk, and laughed while the girls were falling down. I'll never forget. It was like near the time it was done. And the spirit around there said, every one of you is going to die a horrible death in that building. I'll never forget it. Right in that building, you'll die a horrible death. So don't feel too bad about those men that died in that fire. I didn't forget. It was, it was 11 of them. I remember that. And I'll never forget I was working in Center City in that summer of 91. And God had spared me not to be down there. I was working at Commerce Bank, which is now TD. That day, I was on vacation. And I pretty much just paid it no mind. Because I already knew what the conclusion, what was going to happen. Because God, the Spirit said before, that because of what y'all did, y'all going to die in that fire. For that rotten shit y'all did, okay? This is the kind of stuff I could go on and on. The stories of the innocent shed blood and tears that I saw in Philly and in America, with the live and on film of victims who go on and on forever. Okay, the, the betrayal of your own citizens, U.S. government goes on and on forever. Okay, from the destruction of Harrisburg, destroying Ohio, the sister city massacre, destroying Camden, destroying the, the, the sister New Jersey, New York rather, of New York. That was wiped out and just renamed Newark and then part of New Jersey City. Covered up. All this treachery. All this treachery. In a so-called democracy, the land of the free, the home of the brave, the main ones doing it, the tooting, bullshit, flag-raising, right-wing Trumpers. They can't, They got a thirst, an insatiable thirst, for innocent blood and tears. That's all MAGA is about. It's about creepy, outrageous, dead get thirst for the innocent blood and tears of their own citizens is in a bit. It's deeper than a bit stance. I am paradise says it's more expansive than the cosmic. That's your white American right wing government, okay? That's Trump. That's the real Trump, okay? Trump literally took part in the destruction of that New York, New Jersey himself. A lure, a large group of Latina men tried to come over and they were gonna defend the city. They ended up getting killed because they were betrayed. The city was surrounded by the military because the military claimed they were gonna protect them. The every everyone in the citizens I thought it would be safe literally just before the city caught on fire all the military drove away and left the people to die yes the u.s military the u.s military i'll never forget i saw it it was it was right in it was somewhere in the late 60s i was about one years old because i had just moved into the area i stayed at my parents they left me in a house and left me to die because they constantly were trying to get me killed because they basically just embraced it i guess they wouldn't be killed and so then they came back my home i'm the only house around just walking around I was because I prayed to God that the flames would not burn. So my father's like, okay, so I have to try something else. Yeah, that's what I had, that's how I had to live with Reggie and the Lord Dean. I don't think my father and mother were ever good people, either way. Despite what went on, I, they did they were they gave into too much evil and never corrected to ever be good people. The grave sits under us to the day. It doesn't have a marker because they never were doing anything but wrong and evil to people. So I that's why I say they were just a sperm donor and a surrogate. Okay, that's why I claim my celestial. When mother and father forsake me, the Lord will take me up, okay? It's like my celestial mother, Shagar, and, and God, all the gods. Those are my parents, okay? And there are some people in the show that have been parents to me and love, so, okay? It's few. Yes. So, look, the fire is just about out. And may, with the fire out, maybe the controversy will end. Maybe people stop entertaining the nonsense, okay? Stop it. You're jealous, okay? Jack Fred with your jugglers. That's why you claimed I was a cocksucker. You could, maybe you are, Jack, okay? All you white dudes that say that, maybe because you're gay. Maybe you need to look in the mirror. I'm not gay. I've never been gay. It's nothing about me that's gay, okay? I don't know what the fuck you guys are. I see most of the time, when there's a hot babe, I'm the only one who's, who's got the really hard dick. So how am I? I'm um, gay. Because y'all trying to hide your gayness from me. Because y'all something worse than gay. That's what I see with most of you dudes. I'm the one that shows the masculinity. I'm the one that pleases the women in the bedroom. I'm the one that's got the body. I'm the one that knows how to love. You hear me singing? So how am I the gay dude? It's because you're gay, okay? It's like people hear me say I know you are, but what am I? I know you are, but what am I? Then something, the, the end result is something that shouldn't be a hostile act. It becomes a bad thing because you keep lying on me and trying to impress me because it's you, white man, black boy, jealous piece of shit. I call people gay? No, because you're gay. It's so rude. It's just fucking rude. Okay? So there it is. There goes your attitude about me up in flames. Okay. There you go. There you go. I'm going to shut it off because I've been on for a while. I'm going to turn this off. But there you go. There's the end. Okay. There's the end. The end of all the lies. It's as, sure, as sure as the sun will cross the sky, the lie is over. Lost like the tears that used to tie me over. 